and uh, it kind of crossed over. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and then eventually I healed up, was back in the ring, and uh, during that time they said we're gonna, we want you guys to dye your hair bleach blonde, and uh, so next thing I know we dyed our hair bleach blonde and we're the blonde bombers, and uh, we went on and we were tag champs a couple times uh, before getting brought up to to uh, the the main roster. I'd say it was probably about. Uh, after I got out of the cast and was healed up, it was probably about, uh, I guess, a couple of months before they, you know, they, they brought us up. So it was, it wasn't too long. So it was, uh, and, and they said, okay, well, we're going to bring them up. And originally when they brought us up, they were going to put us with Simon Dean. If you remember Simon Dean, um, he was doing his whole, uh, you know, his, uh, get fit type of thing, you know, uh, uh, he's doing that whole thing and he, we were going to be like his henchman. So we were going to do that. And then, and then, uh, that kind of changed when, when we were, when we were in the ring and we were taking some people out and, and I had to rip off my shirt and, uh, that kind of changed things at that moment. Cause when Vince saw me rip off my shirt, that's when he said, okay, you guys look more like Chippendales. So that was a long, long winded <laughs> answer rather. Did he say that to you guys? Did he talk to you backstage and say, this is what we're going to do? Or did he give you any kind of guidance? Oh, yeah. No. <clears throat> um, the way it started was uh, we were – every. We, they just said, okay, well, we're going to have you guys just run out at the end of tag matches. And whoever wins, whoever's in that ring, you guys are going to run out from the crowd and you're going to just take them out. You're going to lay them out. You guys will hit them with some big finish and and then just, you know – people will be like, who are these guys coming out from the crowd? And that's kind of the way it was done. So we did that a few times over the uh, course of, uh, you know, a few weeks. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, one of the times we were laying people out and I remember I, we were coming out in like black tank tops, like white beaters and like um, black slacks. And um, we came out, laid them out. And then I just, one time I just went and I just ripped my shirt off and threw it. And, uh, you know, being all fired up. And then um, when we got backstage, Vince looked at us and he's like, man, I, I really liked the way you, you ripped off that shirt and you, you threw it and you, you looked all like masculine and you had the black slacks on. It looked like you look like a Chippendale. And I was like, OK, he's like, I want you guys to come back next week dressed as Chippendales. I want to see what it looked like. You guys come back, get Chippendale I felt to come back and, and we'll see how it goes. I was like, oh, okay. I guess that's what we're doing. So sure enough, uh, went to the, our seamstress uh, and I said, well, look, we need we need a couple outfits real quick. Make them Chippendales so that we could tear off our pants and cuff links and bow tie and you know suspenders, blah, blah, blah. And came back next week, showed Vince. He's like, I love it. You look great. And I was like, okay. And uh and uh, Stephanie's like, OK, well, I guess this is going to be your guy's gimmick. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. And uh, wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it was fine. I was just happy to be there. Um, and Stephanie's like, so uh, we need you guys to think of a tag team name. And I was like, OK. And uh, while we were thinking about it, you know, we were coming up with some different names. And and we ended up with uh, coming up with the idea of the weapons of mass seduction. So, you know, a little play on, you know, words and stuff like that, you know. So I thought that would be cool. Weapons of mass seduction. That's kind of sexy yet badass, you know. And uh, Stephanie was like, so when we told Stephanie, which just happened to be while all the guys were warming up and the writers were all out there. And um, and I said, so that's what we're thinking. She's like, oh, I love it. And out of the corner of my ear, I hear and you might have heard this story before. I'm not sure. But, but he goes. I heard we should call them, we should call them the swinging Richards, like swinging dicks, right? <clears throat> um, that's you know, and it was Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes was you know at the time one of the one of the uh, agents or writers or creative whatever he was, um, and he's oh I'm gonna go tell Vince that right now, and so he goes he goes and and, and I'm look I look at Stephanie she's like don't worry I'll handle this, and so didn't hear anything until about 10 minutes before we're getting ready to go out. And she comes up to me. She's like, uh, she's like tank. Um, I'm really sorry, but, um, 
At first, they won Stevie Rich the swing. At first, it was the swing and Richards, but that was too much like Stevie Richards. And then it just yeah, went yeah. to the swinging dicks, but that was a little bit too much on the nose. And so you guys are going to be just the dicks. And I was like, all right, I guess we're going to be the dicks. And the first immediate thing, I thought a couple of things. First was, oh, my mom's going to be so proud. Second, <laughs> second was, but my mom's got a good sense of humor, so it's all good. Um, but uh, the second thing I thought was, all right, this is SmackDown. And right now they're trying to be family friendly. They're trying to go more the family friendly direction. And I was really concerned about that because I was like, here we are. We're going to be called the dicks. And I know there's going to be a lot of double entendres and, you know, all this other stuff going on. I, I knew what it was. But I was like, this is not yeah. meant for SmackDown. This is this is a raw cable television, not network television type of thing where you can get away with a hell of a lot more, you know. And so sure enough, sure enough, I was like, Steph, can we at least spell it D-I-X? And she's like, no, nah, you guys, it's going to be the the correct spelling. And I was like, all right. She's like, so it's going to be Chad Dick and you're going to be James Dick. And I was like, all right, I guess I'm going to be James Dick. And uh, it wasn't John Dick, which is my real name uh, because it was, there's already John Cena, John Bradshaw. Uh, and then, but my whole thing was, why couldn't you have called me Tank Dick? I just don't get it. Tank Dick would have at least been cool. Like <laughs> Tank Dick. You know, but, but yeah, so, yeah, it is what it is. 